Murray cannot get enough of bouncing on this mushroom. Whenever, whenever you're gonna make a shooting star meme out of this? I know. The Murr, the Murray, the Murr, the Murray, the Murr. Alright, let's be serious. Anyway, mm. folks, welcome back to Sly Cooper. Yeah. Ban 2, Band of Thieves. That's not its full title, whatever. Yeah, Sly 2 and the um, steak Super sausage. Friends. Anyway, today we are going to do the India Heist. Again. Our, uh, the jungle India, India heist uh, elephant thing. Um, drowning. We're gonna kick the. We're gonna kick Rajan's ass. Let's mm -hmm. go. But um, um, and screw. Let's just say what really went on. This is a part take two. Yeah, because our recording software fucked up and I fucked up there. Somehow I did not bounce on his head. Yeah, so this is a completely different file we made specifically for this part. Don't worry, we're not completely res like having to start over. We only really had to just start over from this episode. Yeah, so everything will be fine. Yeah, we do have um, we have some stuff. It's just that we're probably just not gonna like showcase all that much. So yeah, that kind of what happens. Kind of a shame, but don't oh. worry. We have the original uh, game file, so once we complete this, we can just uh, continue on from our um, uh, in progress file. Yep. All right. So anyways, um, here's the first part of the mission. Um, Bentley just um, goes off to the helicopter that we crashed last episode. I think, last episode. I think, maybe, a couple episodes ago. Either last episode or two episodes ago. I mean, either way. Yeah, probably. So anyway, what Murray's got to do is he's got to go op open, open the, the elephant's mouth. The open, yeah, the elephant's mouth. Which so would flood this entire place, despite the fact, oh, I don't know, to the right of us is a cliff. Yeah. I don't know how that would work, especially when the source of water is actually um, the giant pool up there. Although, now that I think about it, it might be coming in from more than just um, the, that giant pool. Oh, it does come from that dam up there that yeah. we destroyed. Plus, so where else would the where where else would this water be coming from? Because see, waterfall. Yeah, I know. Gotta kill all of these damn dirty monkeys! Was it Shadow the Hedgehog? Uh, no, I would be saying the damn fourth chaos and multiply it. You're close, you're getting there. Anyways, here comes the next part. We have to protect Murray while he's trying to raise this thing. This is also Bentley's only playable part in this whole mission. Which is weird. And this is the only time we'll get something like this bombs on uh, parachutes. The best way to get rid of these is just kind of like go like comb back and forth like right under them. Yep. Because um, the tower is actually rocking the helicopter, so it actually makes it harder to aim. Yeah, it's not, I didn't find it too hard. Yeah, it can be tough if you're eight. Eight. I mean, that's when most of like these games would be uh, tough. I mean, I used to think Super Mario 64 was one of the hardest games. I just find it, I find that game honestly annoying. Mainly because that game just has not aged well. Huh. I had Super Mario 64 memories with it. I think the other 3D Mario games are better. And that's yeah. how I feel. Galaxy is my favorite Mario game, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know mine. Yet. Um. Mario is missing. No. That game sucks. No, wait. Even better. Mario CDI. Is that just Hotel Mario? Yeah, Hotel Mario. That game is actually not bad. A little annoying after a while, but it's not that bad. I mean, it probably would have done well if it was an arcade game. Or just not on the CDI. Yeah, just not on the CDI. All right now, Sly's part here is he has to uh, take TNT a barrel the the fucking elephant's throat. Yep. So basically, this part is Metal Gear Solid. We really need to look up the Metal Gear uh, theme. I know. The, I know the. I know the theme. I'll probably put it mm, somewhere. Mm. Maybe. Um, I'm trying to think. Don't don't sing the song. <laughs> the Metal Gear, the brawl uh, version of the Metal Gear Four. No, nah, just, just don't sing the song. It'll be there, maybe. Maybe we, maybe if there's ever like a self-destruction sequence, we can put in a, uh, the count, the countdown music from Metroid. 
Dun 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 dun. Don't sing the song. Come on. No, I'm singing the song. Stop being such a cock block. Don't sing the song. I'm the sad song. my goat just died today. I'm sorry for your loss. That's a real song, by the way. It's by the what? frogs. I don't wanna know now. No, just don't tell me. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Hey Murray. Yo. What are you doing? Waiting for you. Oh! The Murray just realized how fat he was. <laughs> Yeah, you probably shouldn't eat McDonald's after every workout session. Well, screw you, Sly! Slow motion into teleport. That was fast. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. And there's Rajan. He was hiding in that uh, front door the whole time. Why didn't we ever bother to check? It's locked. Hmm. Oh yeah, we don't have a treasure key. Sly, you need to get all seven treasure keys to give to Rajan. Uh, Bentley, we're in the wrong game. Really? Could you? All time's sake? Oh, buddy old pal? And then he makes you do one of those, um, uh, uh, gunner missions. No. You are nothing. Come face the might of Rajan. The mighty Rajan. The guy who's been, like, scared of us this whole time. Is it weird that the HD version just so Neela was standing right there? I just saw her model stand right there. Oh, I did not catch that. I just realized. <laughs> Yay, HD porting! She kind of was there from the beginning, just the HD port being in widescreen kind of show, shows the animators just had her there ready, ready until the cutscene was triggered. <laughs> Anyways, here's the next section. These spikes just came out of nowhere, so we're going to use them to get up to Rajan while he's uh, trying to hit us with Thunderbolts. Look out. Okay. Turns out he's a uh, Thunder Mage. I wonder if he plays D&D. What, uh, what do you think the School of Magic he took? Dark Arts. Hmm. Okay, I call bullshit. <laughs> I was out of the way. Neela, now! What are you doing? Oh! Oh shit. Why are you backwards? Uh, maybe he was blinded by the light? Wrapped up like a deuce and a runner in the night? Sorry, I don't know what you're referencing. Blinded by the light! Uh, okay. No, don't sing the song. Come on. I don't like that song either. You don't like anything. No, I like a lot of things. That song sucks. That song's amazing. No. Even though I don't know what it's saying half the time. The one thing I'm not is fat. I mean weak. So. Anyways, this fight is honestly not all that interesting. All you do is uh, jump over his first swing and then uh, dodge his second one. I don't mind this fight, but it can get pretty long. It's just, just, you know, he has the same attack pattern. That's pretty much all you do. Mm -hmm. Until his uh, guards decide to jump in. Also, there's an electric fence around here. Which, uh, hurts oh, you. Oh, shit. But if you can throw him into it. Yeah. But first you'd have to knock out a guard to, to knock him out. There you go. Like so. Get him. And he, <laughs> he falls on his ass. Oh, shit. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, he casts uh, an electric field on the water. And it kills every enemy that's not standing on a lily pad. Bear in mind, since there are enemies here, you can get health from it. I've got, I've got your boss. What shall you do now? Oh, oh no, we've got our boss. Let's wait. Ooh, double zapped. Nice. Also, don't stand under him when he's about to uh, do that. Uh, lightning attack because it will actually uh, squish you. This is a pretty long fight, though, to be quite honest. He has a lot of health despite us being Murray. This is this is a decent fight at best, though. Yeah. Although he does he he has nothing on uh, Dimitri's greasy sweet skills. Nope. Nothing. 
Ooh. Oh, shovel. Wow, that monkey actually managed to jump all the way to safety. You're gonna end it the best way. Go. Walk into it. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I that, was, that, was pretty, that was pretty funny, though. By the way, how does the clockwork card, um, like, help amplify that? Oh wait, it's made of metal, duh. Yeah, and you're in a forest, that rain, where, where there's water and whatnot. No, it's not, it's not because of that, it's because the metal, like, um, if there would be any lightning storms, it would, uh, like, actually come through his, um... Yeah, like a conductor and whatnot. And down he goes. See, there you go, you ended the right way. Mm-hmm. The Murray just electrocuted your ass! How are we looking on time, by the way? Yeah, we're good. Alright. You think we might actually be able to start the next part? No, uh, maybe. Alright. Oh, there you are, Neela! Uh, you... Neela! I can see Sly's shin bone through his, through his leg! You gotta come down here! Uh, it's also a collapsed lung! Please help me. Oh. 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 Oh, no. That's, that's the uh, head of Interpol and Carmelita. Oh boy. Not the head of Interpol. Head of a division of, yeah. of Interpol. Oh yeah, she's the jailer, I think. Yeah, she's a... That's what she she's is. She's a prison warden. Yeah. I just realized, she's. I think she's a Black Widow. Yeah. I hate spiders. Okay, uh, get her away. What are you talking about, Neela? She talk. What is she talking about? She's in. She's been in cahoots with us. Oh. <laughs> Bless you. I meant to mute that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so um. Yeah. It turns out um. Neela blackmailed uh, Carmelita. Without her knowledge. Well, that's kind of the point. Sometimes, you, sometimes people blackmail people with them knowing, but that's because they want something. Mm -hmm. She's trying to set her up to fail. And she already did. Oh, and, uh, well, Bentley's actually the lucky one. Wait, how'd he hear it from all the way over there? Uh, Binocucom. Oh, yeah, it's got a built-in microphone. I'm super... Mm -hmm. Yeah, built-in, like, radio. Microphone and whatnot, yeah. Well, statistically improbable. I had to face the facts. Neela had betrayed us. My teammates were captured, and I was all alone. While intellectually inferior, Sly and Murray had always been a rich source of sociological interest. The long walk out of the jungle gave me time to reflect. And with each passing step, my sense of isolation grew. Shockingly, my comrade's absence had a profound emotional effect on me. This was it. This was the true test of friendship. Upon reaching the van, my resolve was hardened. I had to save my friends. But first things first, I had to learn how to drive a stick shift. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny every time, though. <laughs> You know, that's kind of foreshadowing to the first episode where they were trying to get that truck and... Oh, Murray, yeah, and he, and he Murray said... said um, Murray said it was a stick I know shift. how to drive a stick shift. Why was... That kind of seems like foreshadowing. Mm-hmm. Anyway, folks, that um, will, that's gonna... Well, let's see if they actually let this uh, secret movie in. Because remember what I said before, that they did take out some secret movies. Oh, yeah, we should see it. And right uh, to the title screen. I've, maybe I'll include this later on when we're in the extra video if we yeah, ever make it. I think, I think either this was um the PS2 commercial, or the um like MTV like um like La La commercial or whatever it was. Also, we're almost halfway through the game. Yeah, we're already to episode four, which is although it's jailbreak. Although it's this is longer than slide one, but yeah. anyway. We will. we'll start up on the on the actual file once we get back to the game. Yep. All right, folks, you have a nice day. We'll see you then. Peace out.